Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Linda and today we're talking about flybys and how we can change their flyby points to a free flight. So keep watching and I hope you learn something today. You know, Flybys is a loyalty program that enables you to get points for every dollar you spend at Coles Supermarket and up to 20 different stores that's linked to the program. So that includes places like Target, Bunnings, Kmart, Liquorland. Like it Woolworths Everyday Reward Program, which links the Everyday Reward points to Qantas Frequent Flyer points, you can actually change your flyby points to Velocity Frequent Flyer. So in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how we're gonna make the most of our flyby points so that we can convert them to a Velocity Frequent Flyer and make that points convert to your free flight sooner than later. Once you have joined, make sure you download the Flyby app. Like Woolworths Everyday Reward Program, Flybys will send your offers and promotions by email and app. So make sure you check both and remember to activate the offers before you start your shopping. Today, we will focus on how to make the most out of our Flyby program. So the most basic step you should be doing is activating all offers given to you by email or app before shopping in any Flyby stores. Once you have what offers to activate, you see what the catalogue is, you can browse for your rewards. There's also a bonus for surveys, but that's the most simple thing you want to do is you want to have your flybys. You need to just download the app first. So the first thing you want to do is activate all offers given to you via email or app before shopping at any flyby store. For your weekly grocery shopping, one of the best promotions to help you accumulate your flyby points faster is to activate and reach your target shop amount with Coles. For example, it's very common for flybys to send you an email. It's always an email and remember to save it to future in your folder for future reference in case you forget when it starts or how long it goes for. Um, it's always nice to have that paper trail. As you can see, my promotion recently is to spend $140 each week for four weeks, and I can earn 10,000 flyby points. It's also, it's also very common nowadays for flybys to offer you two promotions in one, and you can receive these in your emails. So for example, you can collect 10,000 points if you spend $130 in one sh shop for four weeks, or 20,000 points if you spend $180 per week for four weeks. Alternatively, you can convert it from $50 off your shop or $100 off um, in regards of flyby points, or dollars, in regards of flyby dollars. Just as a pointer here for the newbies out there, the first week that the promotion is offered usually overlaps two weekends, so make sure you shop within the correct dates. So currently, if I spend $140 per week and I get 140 points per shop times four weeks, that's 560 flyby points. By activating the offer, I will receive 10,560 flyby points. So why would I not activate the offer or shop with this in mind if my weekly shop is within this limit? Obviously, if it's an amount greater than what you would normally shop, please don't push yourself beyond your budget. Now, if you have two adults in your family, the wise thing to do is actually rotate the promotions with flybys by taking your turn, taking turns scanning your flyby card when you shop. Flybys will offer a better deal to the person who shops less to entice them to come back to them. From time to time, flybys will also offer you something for free. So always check your app or your email. So as you can see in the past, we have I actually got offered some free snacks. As long as I activated it, I can actually redeem that before the 2nd of May this year. You could also get extra bonus points. For those who find it easier to do their groceries online and have them delivered, Coles has a program called Coles Plus. It's $19 a month 
and it gives you unlimited free standard and same day delivery on your groceries if it's over $50. Some exclusions do apply, so do read the fine print. They also offer you two fly-by points in store and online at Coles. And one point per $1 spent in store at Coles Express excludes items like gift cards, and you can get 10 points per dollar spent at First Choice Liquor and Liquorland. Plus you get free click and collect rapid, which means you can collect your item within 60 to 90 minutes for free. I personally don't think this is an offer that is suitable for everyone. If you're looking for a mobile plan, you might want to look at Coles Mobile. They are using the Optus network and they also offer flyby customers the option of 10% off one shop a month, which is up to the savings of $30 in that shop on selected plans and this is an offer that is available to the 31st of March 2024 so you may want to have a look at it if you need to change your mobile plan in the future. With over 20 partners you can actually earn flyby points just by shopping at some of your local stores so besides Coles you do have the option to shop at places like Bunnings where you can earn $1 one point per each dollar you spend. You've also got choices like your um, first choice liquor market and you've also got your Kmart and Liquorland, Officeworks, Optus, Target, Shells Express, just to name a few places that you can earn extra points just by shopping there. So just remember to scan your card. You can reward yourself and the rewards in flybys, as you can see, you can go to redeem points. And from rewards, you can see there's actually quite a few ways you can redeem points. There's flyby dollars. Now, what does flyby points give you? For 2,000 flyby points, you can redeem it for $10 flyby dollars, which you can spend in store at Coles Supermarkets, Coles Express Petrol Station, First Choice Liquor Market, Kmart, Liquorland, Officeworks, Target, and My Car. But as you know, my family love traveling and flying, so we opt to convert our flyby points to Velocity Frequent Flyers. Obviously, our family goes with Velocity. So you can transfer 1,000 flyby points to get 500 Velocity points. So you can actually set it up as automatic. And that's here we, you can see this is where we go. And you can link your fly, Velocity Frequent Flyer account, and then you just need to click on um, Auto Transfer. So that can be a no-brainer for those who want to transfer points but sometimes forget to do so. Um, but as you can see, we try not to do it that way. As you can see, we haven't linked auto transfer because we usually do this when Velocity offers promotions to do so where we can get more points per transfer. I will explain this in future videos regarding Velocity Frequent Flies. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and that you've learned something new and refreshing and that you are able to actually find ways to build those flyby points faster than what you've already been doing. If you haven't joined flybys, make sure you join at the end of this show. And also just always remember, you just need to scan your card every time you shop and you also need to just always boost activate every offer that comes along and before you do any shopping just go through your app go through your emails and just see what is on offer before you spend that precious dollar of yours can't wait to see what these flyby points can get you and just always know like it's easier than you think so we just need to take that first step and then we can go from there it's nice and fun and nice and easy so, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and be you know you'll be informed whenever the next video is coming out so i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you've learned and keep watching and keep growing those points so that you can get that free flight sooner than you know thank you